Angry Meme Review. Welcome to another edition of Angry Meme Review. I'm your host, Angry Cops AC for short, and this is where I break down your fantastic military memes that you've sent me throughout the month and have tagged hashtag Angry Meme Reviews on Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, which has been fantastic, so that I can check out your devious posts and then show all of you my favorites. And with every Angry Meme Review, last month I gave you your homework using this meme, and holy shit, you did not disappoint. This thing blew up all over the military memesphere so friggin' much that this drill sergeant's wife, I'm not lying, emailed me and sent me a shit ton of DMs telling you that I was gonna get sued by them and that this was defamation of character. No, he's a beautiful, handsome, delicate flower, but I'll touch on that later because before we can get to the fantastic memes that you sent me this month and your homework after that, we've gotta hear a word from our sponsors. Canadips, a tobacco and nicotine-free dip alternative. If you're looking to kick a habit, Canadips can help. And we know how much all of us military members enjoy putting a lipper in every once in a while. And some come with CBD and some come without. So if you're looking to take a little edge off the day, the 15 milligram CBD Canadips pouches are pretty gosh dang delicious. Now I'd have some to show you right now, but since they sent it to me about a month ago, I've used a couple cans myself and given quite a few away to three friends of mine that are trying to quit, and it's been assisting them in getting rid of that horrible habit of putting some chew in. So if you're looking to kick the can, can of dips is your way to go. Make sure you use code ANGRY to get 20% off your entire order at the can of dips website. Let's get back to these memes. Dear Lord, Ranger Jesus, he was special forces, he had a beard. He went to ranger school and I like the Ranger Jesus best, Chip. I like to imagine my Jesus with a sapper tab, because it says I'm tab, but I'm just here to blow shit up. God, I love sappers. Being an engineer myself, I consider it to be far better than rangers, as we don't give our tab away to every lieutenant that happens to go through our course. I realize this is his third DUI and fourth sharp complaint first sergeant, but he squared away. Look at his runtime. 12.32 mile, huh? Hmm. I'll never understand where high PT scores automatically mean the soldier is high speed. I mean, I know Marines love range day, but I think this one likes it a little too much. All right, I can't watch this anymore. When you have to correct years of shitty parenting in only a few weeks, I guess if you want children beaten, you have to do it yourself. I mean, I'm not saying I'm, I'm gonna go around beating the shit out of kids, but if PT happens to break you down so I can build you back up, that's the way the course is intended. It's called basic training, not basic recess. The Coast Guard, like fishing, but with people. And in case you didn't see my last POB nomination, there was a freaking Coast Guard helicopter rescue swimmer diver unit guy that took a woman out of a car that was about to fall over Niagara Falls. So, this is appropriate. See you later, have a good shift. Congratulations, you didn't fuck any of your coworkers. Here's an award, thank you for your service. Let's get a picture. Thank you, thank you for your service. That is so true for so many professions. You got dirty drill sergeants banging privates. You got dirty privates banging privates. You go to NCO school, you got everybody finger and fist fucking each other. Just because they're two weeks away from home, they go absolutely bad shit. And you got guys that had been married for 10 years just banging some moose because he's away from the wife for a couple weeks. And then his marriage blows up because now the two of them are having a baby together at some NCO development school, and then his wife's like, well, fuck you, dickhead, and rightfully so. Can't we all just keep it in our pants a little bit, huh? Rub it out into a sock. I don't know, grind and sit on your bedpost. Whatever, just stop ruining your marriages during a fucking military school. Complete BCT and become a soldier. Hijack a bus. I love it when you weirdos make fantastic memes out of the videos that I make. Once again, Check the video log, crazy basic training cat. 
just decides I don't want to do basic training no more and takes his fucking M16, unloaded, thank God, his water source in PTs and just takes over a bus and drives it for a mile and a half with the kids on it. God, basic trainees. You wonder why drill sergeants go crazy. It's 3 a.m., five ribbits in. You're on your third marriage and fourth deployment and all you want is a pepperoni stick out of the vending machine. Well, sometimes it's the small things in life that get us through. When someone finds out you lived on a military base and asks if you knew their one random relative. Here we go, everybody that's not in the military. Listen up. Just because I'm in the army and your friend's in the Coast Guard or your ex-boyfriend was in the Navy and your buddy you're talking to is in the Air Force doesn't mean we all know each other. Before you even ask, no, we don't know them. Whoever it is you're asking for, no. Military alarm clocks on sale for a limited time only. Every morning for my basic training, my drill sergeant Guitavano, a small Filipino man who put the fear of God in everybody, would smash a trash can down the middle of the barracks, kicking it, banging it, and smoking the shit out of us for at least 15 minutes every morning. Every morning, that's how we woke up. So yes, a garbage can is an alarm. Anything, anything that's loud enough when slammed on the floor or beaten can be an alarm clock. Nobody. <laughs> Absolutely nobody. Not a single soul on the face of the earth. The back of platoon shirts from basic trading. Uh, hold on. This is my basic training shirt. Is it a small? It's a medium. I was a little guy. Look at that. No cringe, baby. No skulls. We were the mad dogs. And we were dogs that were mad. I don't know what breed that is. Probably a pit bull or, um, I don't know. We're devil dogs. Mad dogs. We're dogs. Made it through basic training without that stereotype. Yeah. Squad leader. Okay, guys, this is a hostage situation. Any ideas on how to deal with it? Me. Grenades! It's a hostage situation. If the hostage is going to die, we might as well let them do it on their terms or our terms. My crotch watching me flip my disgusting underwear inside out instead of changing them. Hey, if you've been in the field for over a week, don't. Don't judge me on how I'm making my life livable, okay? I only brought three pairs of drawers because I thought it was supposed to be four days. You figure out you let the last one stink up a bit. Who cares? No, no, no. They extended it to want to be fucking cool. And now I've got to turn these bad boys inside out. And i got to give myself a little bird bath with some baby wipes so my crotch doesn't smell like an inside of a Chili's dumpster. When you get through all your training and realize the job you signed up to do is actually sweeping the bays, reality is often disappointing. Dude, if there's like a stereotype, like a saying, oh, what is it? It's a join the army where everybody's a janitor. Tradoc, my hopes and dreams, fucking hits home. 82nd Airborne Troopers, prepare fighting positions ahead of Russian onslaught. 2022, colorized. I wonder if I should make your homework for this month just Russian and Ukraine memes and not give you a specific photo. When the drill finds a trainee without a battle buddy. Don't get caught without a battle buddy, privates. And so this photo of Scott, myself, and Brandon Herrera was taken at Burbiz. I think the next one coming up is gonna be in Washington, DC. So if you're a veteran owned business, you wanna get together, start learning how to network. Well, follow my Instagram, they pop up. But now, the moment you've all been waiting for, your fantastic homework, and holy shit, did you do your homework? I'm gonna make this fast, because there's literally about 20 of them that made me chuckle, that you all have to see. And the last one is a video which nearly made me piss my pants, so let's carry on. 10 minutes into red face and chill, and Drill Sergeant gives you this look. That would scare the shit out of me if I had a drill sergeant looking at me with that baby face. Whew, creepy. When you're in the car with your friend and he starts driving faster, talking about his ex. Please don't kill me. Us. Please don't kill us. When your mom wants a picture of her handsome boy. I love this photo! God, we all get horrible photos taken of us in military, whatever the fuck, schools, etc. And this just crushed it. I love this drill. I don't know who he is. He's, he's up here. He's up, he's top tier. <laughs> 
10th Mountain Mountain Dew Division. All right. Speaking of 10th Mountain, you want to climb to glory? Oh, yeah. Oh, drill song's going to make you climb to glory. Are you mountain tough, big boy? Ugh. These 10th Mountain ones don't get old. When you're taking military ball photos and that one guy messes it up, I can't tell you how many drunk friends jump into the military ball photo backgrounds, start doing stupid shit when you're just trying to take a nice photo with your girl. You're in his letters home. I'm in his face. We are not the same. Every pervy infantry drill sergeant when women got into infantry basic. I can only imagine the amount of dummy drills that didn't have an issue with Sharp, and then all of a sudden you got a couple females in 11 Bravo training, and now they're just like, oh, what do I do? There's a woman around me, and I'm socially inept. Dur -dur -dur. Angry cops, if one more thing goes wrong with this old crack house, I mean, I can't, I can't say I'm gonna burn down the crack house. That would be evidence, so no. Guess where I hid your rifle? Hey, my homeboy over there thinks you're cute. My homeboy. Blue ring drill sergeants are your emotional support drill sergeants. God, what are those photos called where they're all jazzed up and they've got these things? They used to have them in like the 90s. My mother had some done. Glamour shots! This is a hell of a glamour shot drill. You're welcome. I would, I would put this up on my fridge if it was me. <laughs> you will run until I am fabulous. Well, they're not gonna have to run far, Drill, huh? There you go. Get it, girl. Into the sky, you big stud. Some of your Photoshop games, uh, for this meme in particular, just came out on point. I'm telling you, my cheeks hurt because I keep fucking smiling and laughing at this stupid shit you all sent me. Tinder profiles immediately following basic training. The only way this could be better, I mean, they did a great Photoshop. The only way this could be better is that they were standing at parade rest just like looking at the camera all intense. PT test. Profile. Spirit costumes. Erotic Sergeant Miles, as seen in Lucas Entertainment. Would you promote me? I'd promote me. Where's, like, you want to have, like, the lipstick when he does it. Like, would you promote me? Uh, I'd promote me. It puts the promotion in the basket, or else it gets the hose again. Put the MRE in the basket. Put the fucking MRE in the basket. Oh, I fucking love this one. Tell me the truth. I'm, I'm ready to hear it. High PT scores don't mean you're a good soldier. Oh, I made this one, that's not fair. When you don't have a date for the military ball, Drill Sergeant always has your back. But it looks like I got your back in this one. I don't know who did this. This is the most disturbing shit that I've ever seen. What the fuck is wrong with you people? I love it. Ah. God, my cheeks fucking hurt from fucking smiling so much. Oh, I'm happy cops. I don't even know what to do with this. What the fuck do I even do with this? Why is he a cheeseburger? He's got a McDonald's emblem over the American flag. I love every bit of this entire thing. Oh. What is he looks like the mayor from McDonald's, like Mayor McBurger or something? I want this to be a meme. But how the fuck do you even mean this? It's just beautiful Photoshop. God bless Reddit. And here it is. You've made it long enough. The best video I've seen of this entire meme used. Oh, I'm just gonna show it. I'm 260 for my shirt. 260 for my shirt. So sexy, it hurts. Now that, that's a note that you end on. And before I forget, this is this month's new homework. Now I don't know how the fuck you can beat last month's, but I believe in you. I've seen the standard that you can attain. Let's see if you can pull it off of this one. I'll see you next time, weirdos. This drill sergeant, his wife emailed me and blew up my fucking Instagram. Let's read over what she had to say. 
I'm going to ask you very nicely, please take down the photo of the drill sergeant down. You're risking his platoon seeing this. Well, he's going to see it anyway because it's his fucking drill sergeant photo hanging up in the company. So they see it. There's no good reason for you to do this with the photo that was taken and the photo photographer, I'm sure, did not give you the rights. He doesn't have to. It's all over the internet. It was over the internet like five, six months ago and I just brought it up again now. I'll give you 30 minutes to remove it since you so easily put it up an hour ago. This means the video of the photos I'd appreciate so we do not have to take legal matters. Well, go right ahead. And she then tried to call me. We're getting a hold of the photographer now. We have all the stuff we need with your face posting this. Please comply quickly. You're doing nothing for his career and you're going to get him harassed and bullied and I will not stand for that. Take it down now. Listen, this is the army, lady. We bullshit with everybody. This is a fantastic photo. We all have to take horrible, stupid photos or do something lame and dumb, and this is the space in which we can freely make fun of it. Nobody's picking on him. It's just a bad photo of him. And next time, please don't just berate the shit out of my goddamn profile. I'm not gonna take anything down. I'm never gonna take anything down. And you're not gonna sue me. By the way, your profile's pretty fucking public, ma'am. I sure would hate to post all the dumb photos you got up. Although I really like your Misty tattoo with the Pokemon one on your thigh. Pretty cool. All right, leave me the fuck alone, weirdo.